Hey everyone, we're here at Say Cheese Pizza Co. We've got the Spider Man, it's like a comic shop, and we're here to take on the Pizzasaurus Rex challenge. Cool looking spot, we got some superheroes here. It's happening. And there is the challenge, so Pizzasaurus Rex. It is 40 minutes and it's free. I believe it used to be an hour. Um, otherwise, it's $20 if you don't complete it. So we take a half a medium pizza pilot on top with one pound of chopped ribeye steak, fire roasted red peppers, grilled onions, Montreal jack cheese, pound of hot and spicy french fries, and then top it all off with garlic herb crusted bread. Sounds good. All right, we got the order and food is starting to arrive. Should be here momentarily. Here with Danica, Daniel, and Tara herself. So with that, we'll be in soon. I got one too. So the timer started. Uh, now I can't let it really cool down. Uh, I think it'll be a okay temperature to eat here. Um, so yeah, we'll get a look at the food. So we got some fries, some steak under there, some garlic bread. Looks really good, so well, no doubt, let's dig in. Ready? Got 25 seconds, bro. Yeah, you get it? Those fries are really good. Hey everyone, welcome back to an awesome challenge. But before we dig in, look at this. I actually eat like a normal person sometimes. This is in real time. I am actually just eating normally. Something you will not see me do often on one of these videos. So enjoy it. All right, everybody. Now let's get into it. So this is the Pizzasaurus Rex Challenge at Say Cheese Pizza Co. in Grand Island, New York. Check out that food. This was a really cool challenge. It has previously been done by Randy Santel and Magic Mitch. So I wanted to go check it out while I was in the area. And overall, I actually really, really enjoyed it. I hate to know the amount of sodium in this. The neatest thing about this challenge is just the sheer variety. And I actually will give them credit. Those french fries with Parmesan and Frank's Red Hot Sauce were amazing. Maybe the best tasting french fries I've ever had. As you saw, we just hit the four minute mark. And this is actually the only time I speed up. So after four minutes of just really taking it slow and enjoying myself, I decided to start speed eating a little bit. So you'll notice me picking up a bit here, just to try to get a good time on the finish after I enjoyed the first bit. Six minutes in, most surprise we got just the steak and the pizza. I had really enjoyed the challenge up until here and was looking forward to the steak. Once I got rid of these last couple fries, I started to notice puddles of grease and oil, like literal oil, sitting in, on, and around the pizza and steak. So it was definitely a little heavy, a little greasier than I would have liked, but it still did taste good. I have to give it that. Just extra greasy and oh my gosh the sodium but was i still enjoying it hell yeah fun fact this was the first time i intentionally ate pizza in probably four years i don't usually eat pizza i don't do dairy but, wink wink, there may be some pizza in the future. Right. we're down to like a bit of pizza, steak, okay. just under 12 minutes. As I mentioned earlier, this challenge was completed by Randy Santel and even Magic Mitch. 
Their times were just over 19 minutes for Randy and just over 20 minutes for Magic Mitch. So let's see what time I could do. Santel and Magic Mitch, I think. I think Randy Santel did it maybe 19 minutes. I'll find out. But at that, she's coming. That was a challenge. It was, uh, it was pretty big. It was good. And until next time, I'm going to relax, maybe get some dessert, and happy eating. 